Hello everyone, I'm Nabil Murad. Microsoft Office has a new look for the quick access toolbar and the ribbon and I would like to show you the new options that we have in all Microsoft Office applications. Here is Microsoft Excel and this is the classic look of the quick access toolbar and you cannot have the classic look on one application and the new look on a different application. So I want to show you Microsoft PowerPoint. Then I have the classic quick access toolbar as well with the save command, the undo and the redo buttons, which are extremely important. And these two buttons will change in location in the new look of Microsoft Office. Let's have a look at Microsoft Word. And I have the same exact classic appearance of the quick access toolbar and the ribbon. In order to make it change, you have to make it in one single application and you have to restart the application. Once you make the change, it will be reflected in all Microsoft Office applications. Then I have to close Word, I have to close PowerPoint. And before making the change, I want to show you the Excel Options dialog box. I can do that by clicking on File and then Options, but I have a preference to using the shortcut Alt FT, which is a universal shortcut that will open the Excel option, the Word option, the PowerPoint options, and so on. If I click on Quick Access Toolbar, then you know that we have a pane on the left-hand side, a pane on the right-hand side. We can select command and move them across the different panes and reorder them up and down by using the spin buttons. If you look below the left pane, then we have one single option of moving the Quick Access Toolbar below the ribbon. What's the problem that Microsoft tried to solve? The problem is on the quick access toolbar, we just see icons. So we might not recognize the commands until we hover over the command and read the tooltip to recognize that this is data validation, hover over the next one to recognize that this is conditional format. So the issue of having labels was important. Also, there will be a change in the undo and the redo button. How to switch to the new interface, how to switch to the new look. I have to click on this command which says upcoming features and try it now. So when I give it a click, it opens a pane on the right hand side. I'm going to scroll a little bit down until I see this slider, try the new experience. I'm going to turn it on. A message box will pop up asking me to restart the application. I hit OK and I'm going to close Microsoft Excel. When I close and reopen Microsoft Excel, even the splash screen for starting an application will change and the change will be applied to all Microsoft Office applications. Let's have a look. I don't want to save anything. I'm closing Excel and I'm starting Excel one more time. Let's open this file. Look at the splash screen, it's different. And now I open the file. You can see the undo and the redo button appear in a group to the left side of the home tab. And that applies to all Microsoft Office applications, by the way. And at the same time, the quick access toolbar, when moved below the ribbon, will show the labels of the command. Let's move it by clicking on the down pointing arrow. And then I go to the bottom of the menu. I select show below the ribbon and look at that. That's really useful. I can see the names of the different comments. Adding and removing comments to the quick access toolbar follows the same exact concept. You can click on the drop list and check and uncheck commands, or you can hover over any command and just add it. Like if I want to add this command, I hover over it, right click and select add to quick access toolbar and the command has been added. You can turn off the labels on the new look of the quick access toolbar by clicking on the down pointing arrow and from the list select hide command label and you would have hidden the labels. I want to bring them back. Then I click on the down pointing arrow and select show command labels. The change has been applied to other Microsoft Office applications as well. So I'm going to open a presentation. I have the new look. I can move it below the ribbon as I did in Microsoft Excel, show below the ribbon and I can see the names of the different commands. The same in Microsoft Word, I can open a blank Word document and I can move the quick access toolbar below the ribbon. And because we are here in the three applications, I want to give you three bonus tips, one in Excel, one in PowerPoint, and one in Word. 
And in Excel, the tip that I want to share with you today, sometimes we have contents in a column and we do not want to change the column width, but we want the contents to fit the column. So we know that we can change the column width by double clicking on the column, but that's not always the case. I want the contents to fit the column. Then I'm going to select the cells having values. I open the format cell dialog box, control one. And in the format cell dialog box, I click on the alignment tab and I check this box, shrink to fit. This option will adjust the size of the text to fit the column width. I hit OK and here you go. Let's share another tip in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this presentation, I have three pictures for former president Ronald Reagan. And I would like to merge the pictures, move from one picture to the other in a very smooth way, like this. I'm going to run the presentation because I already applied that effect. So when I hit F5 to run the presentation, look at the change from one picture to the other picture, how smooth it is. Pictures are merging within each other. To do that, after adding the pictures and formatting them the way you like, you need to open the selection pane. I have this command on the quick access toolbar, but I can also open it by clicking on the right side of the home tab under select and select selection pane. Look at this. I'm giving a name to the picture, whatever that name. I named mine Reagan, but it's preceded by two exclamation marks. If you go to the previous slide, that's the key. That's the secret. Give it the same name preceded by two exclamation marks. And after doing this, you go to the Transitions tab and you apply the Morph animation. Adjust the duration the way you like. I'm going to change the duration, let's say, to 1.25. And I'm adjusting the timing to advance the slide. To apply it to all slides, click on Apply to All and then Test. I'm going to put my presentation in the full screen slideshow mode and the transition from one picture to the other is extremely smooth. Finally, I want to share with you a tip in Microsoft Word and show you how to convert numbers into type text. And to do that, I'm going to write the number first. I start by inserting a field by hitting the shortcut Control F9. And between the curly brackets, I type an equal sign and I type any number. And then I type a backslash asterisk and I type the word called text. To convert the number into a text, I have to select the field and hit the F9 key on my keyboard. In my case, I can't do that because it will interrupt the recording. Then I'm going to right click and select update field. And here you go. I was able to convert the number into type text. If you enjoyed this training video, give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.